Yo, what is going down with y'all boys, man? Look, YouTube, what is good, man? It's time for another video, man. If you already know, my name is Trey, but look, am I the only one that think that it's time? Am I the only one that think that it's time for us to start getting worried that maybe potentially NBA Live 20 is either going to be pushed back or it may not even come out at all, man, because the way that they are moving, I'm telling you, I've said this in some of my previous videos. It's extremely unusual. It's just, I look, as the homie iPod would say, right, it's July. You know what I'm saying? If you've been in the streams, you know where that reference is from. But uh, it's July, and we know literally zero about the game. And I've reported in the past that Forbes had leaked out that Luca could potentially be the cover athlete. Before that, they offered Zion a million. Besides that, we know nothing. We know nothing. E3 came around, nowhere to be found, right? They're showing other games. NBA Live is not there, and we've got we've grown to be accustomed to seeing them there, right? At least when we know that a game is coming out. But as I said in the beginning of the video, they are moving extremely unusual. And today, well, not today, a couple of days ago, the unusual level just grew a little more. And also, my concern level grew a little more, man, because if you boot up your NBA Live 19 game, you got an update, right? Now, an update this late for 2K may be incredibly rare. Like, I remember 2K had one a little while ago, and the fans was like, whoa, they patching the game this late. But with NBA Live, we know that they have continued to patch and add things into the game. But one thing that they did not do, and one thing that's really rare, they updated the rosters this late in the game and they didn't update it to reflect on the late things that happened in the playoffs or something like that they updated the rosters to now if you get on this game you see all of the offseason moves that has happened like that's amazing and that made me extremely concerned i can't sit here in front with y'all man it made me worry so now if you get on that game you see Kawhi in that clipper gear paul george in the clippers as well Kimball Walker, no longer in Charlotte in NBA Live 19. Now you get on there, you play with Boston, he's on there. Anthony Davis is now a Laker. Chris Paul is now on OKC. And Russell Westbrook is now on the Rockets. All of the offseason moves, Horford, whatever, you name them, you, whatever, whatever you want to name, they're there. The trades are there. The signings are there. This is something I've never seen. I've never seen it in Madden. Madden at the end of the year, they stopped doing roster updates. I've never seen it in 2K. 2K at the end of the year, they stopped doing roster updates. So you can see why I'm a bit concerned because the last time I remember a game doing this was Live 10. NBA Live 10 did this and guess what happened at the NBA Live 10? The next game was canceled. So is this a little bit of foreshadowing that we seeing that NBA Live may potentially be canceled? I'm Look, I don't want to be the guy that screams fire in a movie theater and get everybody in a panic. I'm not that guy, never have been, never will be. But you can't deny, this is just weird for them to do. I love the move if the game is actually coming out. I love it. Continue to update the game, man. Don't have people waiting for you to push your game out. If this, if they are coming out with a game, this should definitely be the new norm. I want to see 2K do this, Madden do this, MLB do this, FIFA do this, or Pro Evolution if you play that, whatever. I want to see any sports game do this, but it's just completely weird. Now, if you are to ask me, do I think that the game got canceled? I don't think so, and I'm going to give you a couple of reasons to why I don't think this game has been canceled. Number one, if you get on this thing, yes, the roster moves are there. 110% they are there again Westbrook is on the Rockets Jimmy Butler is in Miami you know what I'm saying Whiteside is in Portland all of those moves are in the game and they have been made but there are no rookies there's no Zion you know what I'm saying there's no RJ Barry there's no John Morant none of them are on their teams Yes, Lonzo and Brandon Ingram is on New Orleans. But if you go on there, that fourth spot that Zion is going to be penciled into, he's not there. There's no there's no remnants of a Zion existing in NBA Live 19 or a Ja Morant or RJ Barrett or some of the other names. Cam Reddish, Bo Bo, none of them are on the game. No Taco Falls. None of them are on the game, right? So 
that's a major positive and that's a major plus to give us a hint that maybe they just given us just enough get a fan base just enough to continue to play that game you can now go online and play with the new rosters but you're still missing pieces every team is not the complete team and if you want to get those players in the game then what you would have to do is so you would have to buy nba live 20 when they eventually start to roll out news so that is a major major positive and it's one of the reasons like i said why i think nba live 20 is still possibly a thing i'm just getting a little concerned the second reason that i have for y'all boys comes directly from a former nba live dev i put him in my videos before cornell now before we get into what he said i gotta walk y'all back a few steps because context is everything and y'all need to know exactly why he said what he said in the context of this conversation right so uh, owner of a sports game website i don't really know the website never been there before in my life but he tweeted this out he says fair to start speculating on nba live 20 release will be seven weeks from now but it hasn't been officially announced live 19 updates rosters with 2019 slash 20 season transactions which is abnormal live website has been gutted and consists of just a static non-game image now like he just said if you go to the nba live website there is no no game news man like this website like he said has been gutted there's nothing here if you've been here in the past there were articles talking about builds talking about game modes all of that has been removed all of that has been removed it is nowhere to be found so people started to get worried someone said yikes now to this tweet this is the former nba live dev the homie cornell follow him on twitter cool dude he said the lights certainly aren't off and it's not canceled they'll talk on their time and like i said in the past i do feel like nba live is moving slower because they feel like 2k has been stealing things so his comment definitely fits with what i have been thinking in the past and yes with these new moves i can't lie like i said i started to get a bit concerned i'm still concerned even with his comments his comments definitely put me as an nba live fan as a basketball game fan whatever at ease but I'm still a bit concerned, man, because if you look at that website, there's nothing there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure y'all can understand me feeling a little bit uncertain. But with Cornell, he put out a tweet a little minute ago that I put in my video as well. When he was talking about, well, he put a gift and he put NBA Live 20. So I'm assuming that maybe, maybe he's seen the game. Maybe he possibly played it. I don't know. So you should be a little bit worried. I will never tell you to not be worried, especially when a game is doing the kind of things that NBA Live is doing. But with them not putting the rookies in the game, that's a great move for y'all. If y'all want to see another NBA Live, that's a great that's great news for me. You know what I'm saying? And also with Cornell, a former dev saying the lights aren't out him giving hints in the past that maybe he possibly has played nba live 20 calm down man i think the game is here also with what brian mazik tweeting out that they announced luca like there's a lot of things that's pointing to them not releasing the game but i i myself i'm choosing to overlook all of that and i'm looking at the things that's showing us that there's a game coming out man but I just think right now what they doing is they going zero dark 30 man like you know what i'm saying you know playoff lebron in the playoffs, LeBron don't tweet. LeBron don't do nothing because he in game mode. I think NBA Live is ready to battle up. They ready to gear. But with them moving the way that they moving, it's putting a lot of hype. At least for me. I won't say for everybody else. I don't want to speak for the whole live community because honestly, I'm really not in touch with the live community. I don't really talk to any other body. I stay in my own bubble and I play the game for what I enjoy, right? I know for me, it's putting a lot of hype because when you gearing up like this what do you have like what do you what are you bringing you know what i'm saying is there something major coming that you don't want to get out i don't know i i just i need to know what they are doing man is the game on a new engine maybe this is why they're taking so long to reveal it maybe they maybe it ain't ready maybe they're working on the next console maybe the game may even possibly be delayed but that's all i got for y'all boys man look the game, I think it's coming out. I don't think it's canceled. If you're nervous that it is, go ahead and bring your nervous level down a little bit. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you like them patching the rosters in this late? I think this is a major, 
major W, bro. More games should do this. I hate having to recreate all of the moves, having to recreate some of the players in the game, put them there, because I be wanting to do all of these moves. The NBA offseason got me just ready to play more games. And I don't want to see Kyrie go to Brooklyn and KD go to Brooklyn, and all of a sudden I get on a game and I got, still got to play with Kyrie in Boston and KD in Golden State. I don't want to see that. So with them doing this move, this is a major W NBA Live. I got to give you credit if the next game is coming out for you to continue to support this game because you know people spent their hard-earned money on it. Don't treat this game like it's dead. I appreciate that move. But my name is Trey. We on the road to 40K. Make sure that y'all like, subscribe, hit the notifications. You can join the gang gang. And um, we out.